50 Shades of Mom. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another room tour. I am coming to you from my bathroom and I've said that to you so many times and yet I've never actually showed you the space. And I figured since I probably have like six or seven videos that I've taken in this bathroom, I figured I'd finally do a tour but as a mom you know if you want to do a tour you get excited you want everything to be like squeaky clean and with three kids a husband two dogs this room is like never squeaky clean and then I was waiting for like really pretty natural lighting to come through that window but it's been really gross and yucky here so we're just gonna go with the flow so I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'm gonna show you guys what my bathroom looks like okay guys so when you come in the front door um, we they this is the main part of the bathroom and then they have here what they call like their little toilet room so let me turn the light on show you guys that's just the toilet in this little room and I have two pictures hung up like canvas pictures that I got from Bed Bath and Beyond and the matching one is on this wall and I actually really like this it has a separate fan so I love the fact that if someone needs to use the restroom they can come in here and use this part of the bathroom and not affect somebody that maybe is brushing their teeth or taking a shower and then I just have this long mirror hung over the door here and then this is the master sweet tub um they call it a garden tub i actually really loved this part of the thing that drew me in when i moved here so i had to get something very serene i got this canvas actually i think i got it on finger hut many years ago just the buddha i used to have a lot of bamboo and stuff like stems and whatever coming out of vases and like in the corners here but now with my kids they keep like pulling them down and then one time they broke one and there was like rocks and glass and everything so until my children are a little bit older and I can start doing things again like that I just have you know their toys there these things are really cool uh this one is munchkin and I showed this in a video when I purchased it but it's just stuck there to the wall but it's a big scoop so when the tub is all done and you're letting it out, you just use it like a net and you can scoop up all the toys in the tub and then you just hang it there to dry. I love that. And then this is my really pretty window. I know it's probably going to be super hard for it to focus. Let me see if I get close, if you can see it. Yes, you can. So this window, you could see everything and all the neighbors could see in here. So I mean, this was like maybe 20 bucks at Home Depot and it's just like an opaque kind of sticker film that you put over it so it looks very stained glass-ish and nobody can see in there. And then I just have a couple of flower uh, plants in pots. And then this is all the kids stuff that they use. Um, and then these are my skip hop things that I love so much, but they are taking a beating because they are masons, but this is the whale that you kneel on and that's what you lean on when you're dealing with the kids in the tub. And they have been so crucial that I'm actually thinking about repurchasing them again since I still have a couple of years of baths with Maya. Um, that's my bathroom scale and my garbage pail with my always using shopping bags. That's my Target bag in there. And then this is a space I kind of wanted an opinion on. So I just have this towel hung here just to show you guys. But we don't use a towel here. Most of the time I just hang towels there for more towards design because on the door, uh, it's my Pink Floyd towel from my shower this morning. I forgot to move that. Um, but I have just like an over the hanger thing that we use with our towels as we're going through the day. So this was always just collecting dust, towels collecting dust. And we have, which I'm about to show you the sinks in a minute, so much stuff on our sinks from us using daily products. And I really want to get like a very nice amwa or something here. I thought about moving the picture to this other wall by the shower that I'll show you guys in a second and then putting some kind of like wooden amwa here. But I really want to do white. I like the white 
frame that we put around this and the white encasement around the window and the molding in the tub. I kind of wanted to stay with like a white thing, but now I'm about to show you that the cabinets are brown. So I wasn't sure if that was a little weird, but I really want to find some kind of cabinet space for here and remove that towel rack and put all of this stuff that we have on our sinks away. So we have a double sink, three drawers in the middle. We put those handles and everything on, didn't come with that. And the two big doors, this is my side and this is his side. So over here, I just have my hand soap. So I get so many ones for Christmas that I use Christmas ones over in my bathroom because nobody can see it. But I actually have my wallflower right here and that is the matching. Um, scent to that which really does smell good and this is one of my favorite things my makeup mirror swivels out and it's got the two different sides and I hang my straightener on it so it's out of the way and then these are just all of my you know daily stuff that I use which I hate I don't like clutter and I would love to take all those things and put it in that rack in that space and then just our tissue box, some Febreze. This is Daryl's side. Um, I did put away all of his shaving stuff, which he usually has scattered all in here, um, which I moved away. And then this is just our toothbrush stuff. And we have the big mirror here with the double lighting above. And then we have the matching picture to what I showed you I want to move. The door with the racks. And then here's our big shower that we have the double shower i have my shaving seat i love this thing put my leg up on to shave and stuff so much easier we have another um munchkin holder for I'll open the door and show you guys i have like some toys in there for when the kids come in here and play and we have a couple of little my razor a couple of little shelves dog shampoo all that kind of stuff that's our rain head shower head I love that and that is it this is the wall I actually thought about moving that picture too putting it there and having some kind of big thing over there and that is it this is my master bath I love the color um, it's like a, a really nice seafoam green and it ties really good in with the serenity theme of this bathroom and ties really good in with like the powder blue once I show you guys my bathroom then I will show you um once I show you guys my bedroom you'll be able to see how well the colors kind of tie in together but okay guys that is it I hope you enjoy the tour of my master bathroom this is definitely one of those things that when I first came to tour, tour the house I walked in here and I was like ah oh, that's what you're waiting to buy a house for, like this really cool feel that I felt like I was going to get from in here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments down below what you think I should do with that space. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.